What's up guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back to a new vlog. So it's been a little bit since I've posted a vlog. I was doing vlogs in the beginning of posting videos on my channel and thought it would be a good week to vlog because there's a lot of exciting things coming up this week. Um, today I'm actually thinking about making a little bit of a purchase for a new bag that I've been eyeing for a while now. And I don't buy luxury pieces very often. It's actually very rare. I think I've only ever bought myself one designer bag. And I don't know, I've hit a lot of milestones in terms of my work and career. And I thought it would be a good chance to just you know, treat myself and there's a bag that I really, really love and I think it would be a great bag just for every day. So I'm going to go check it out and see if I like it because I haven't seen it in person yet. So I'm gonna go check it out, see how I feel and make the decision. But I think I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. And also we're going to LA this week for two weeks. So we leave on Wednesday, it's Sunday today. So I'll be vlogging all of that. So I don't know how this vlog's all gonna come together really, but we will see how it all goes. But there is a lot going on and I feel like it's a perfect opportunity to vlog. So I will see you guys, hopefully at Balenciaga. getting the bag I did end up leaving with the black one that you guys saw me trying on and I am really really excited about it here's the little dust bag by the way it's like 5 30 right now we just ubered back from the mall and we actually stayed there for a little bit longer because we stopped for lunch after getting the bag and we actually went to this restaurant that I used to go to all the time when I was in high school and they still had this white chocolate brownie that we used to get that like everyone would get and it tasted the exact same like it was so nostalgic to get it again. I am so excited for the bag. I wasn't sure if I was going to love it in person but when I saw it I knew that it was exactly what I was hoping for. So here it is. This is the bag. I was actually really torn between the black and the white, but I just felt like the black was going to be so timeless and the white maybe could have been something that I regretted, even though I don't have a lot of white bags. That's why I was thinking maybe the white would be cool and it stands out a little bit more than the black, but the black is just really a lot more edgy and I think more my style. And what I love about this bag is that it's more vintage looking. So I'm excited to style this with more of my vintage tees and vintage crew necks. I feel like it goes really well with that kind of vibe because it's a little bit more like worn out looking, which I like. And this adjusts as well, so it can be more of like a crossbody bag, but we just tightened it for it to be like more of a shoulder bag. So yeah, all the little like charm things are so cool on it. And it's very like rocker vibes, which I love. Like I mentioned, I don't have a ton of designer bags or like luxury items, but when I saw this, I thought it was really unique, but still something that could go with a lot of outfits. And that's why I was like, that one is for me. So I'm actually so excited for it and definitely don't have any regret with it so far so yeah very very excited and happy that she had it because she was saying that this black one is starting to sell out and I was lucky that they even had it 
Not sure if she was just telling me that to get the sale, but I actually do believe her because when I looked it up, um, there is only two locations in Toronto that had it. And even from last night, one of the locations didn't have it just from waking up this morning. So obviously it's a popular bag. And oh, I also got some things from Mac. So I had a gift card from Christmas. I don't usually go to Mac very often, but I do really love their lipsticks. And my favorite lipstick is their Velvet Teddy Mac Matte Lipstick. So I asked the lady there what a similar one is. She suggested this Honey Love Matte Lipstick. So it's a little bit lighter than Velvet Teddy, so I'm excited to try it. And then I needed a new liquid eyeliner, so I picked that up as well. So it's also Super Bowl Sunday, so we don't really have any plans for that. I mean, we're not huge football fans or anything, but we had plans to make nachos, but now we're just so tired and full from the day and lunch because we didn't eat like that long ago. So we might just have a little something for dinner and just wind down. And the next couple of days are just gonna be like getting ready for our trip. And like I said, we're going to LA for two weeks. So just planning for what to pack is a little bit different than what I'm used to because we've never really gone on a two week long trip before. We usually have gone for a week or a weekend type thing. So um, just trying to think of everything that we need uh, for the two weeks. That's gonna be the next couple days, but I'll definitely vlog whatever I can. I will see you guys whenever I pick up the camera again. Good morning guys, it is the next day, it's Monday, and it's also Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Today is a lot of prep for our trip. There's just like things I gotta do, I gotta shower, do my hair, I want to wash the sheets and like clean the house a little bit. I'm weird like that, I always like to do that before our trip so that when we come home, I don't know, I just want to get into a nice clean bed and all of that. We also have to go to our public storage locker to get our other suitcase because going for two weeks, we need two suitcases, definitely. Tomorrow we're getting our COVID test done. So just gonna bring you guys along for all the trip prep. Yesterday, I guess I didn't really explain what we're doing on this trip. Mitch and I both have work opportunities there. So we made a little trip out of it and we got an Airbnb as well, just so that we could get groceries and have a kitchen and be able to cook and kind of live and work out of the Airbnb. We're also bringing Louis on the trip, which is our first time taking him on a plane. So I am a little bit nervous for that, you know, just hoping he's good and everything, but I think he's gonna be great. We honestly take him everywhere with us. Like we've taken him on the train, we've taken him on bus rides, we've taken him on long car rides and he is so good so we think this will be similar obviously there's a little bit more anxiety on a plane for a dog so we have it all planned though to make him very comfortable and he will be good so that'll be an adventure for sure but we're excited because this airbnb has a little yard for him and he's gonna love it so we'll be able to bring you guys along for all of that yesterday actually after I vlogged. We ended up getting this at home nacho kit from this restaurant down the street that we really like, and it was Chef's Kiss. And we watched the Super Bowl, and of course, the main event, Euphoria. That's what I was waiting for. Sundays are for Euphoria. So we did that, and yeah, it was a nice Sunday. Also, thought I would show you guys the carrier that we will be bringing Louie in. So I got this off Amazon. This one came highly recommended. And we just got him this little blanket from the dollar store. He loves these soft blankets. But it's so funny because we've just had this out after we got it and he just like randomly goes in it and he kind of loves it. So I feel like he's gonna be fine because we've tried to warm him up to the carrier. He's gonna be sitting like at my feet on the plane in this, so yeah but he weirdly likes it so that was our plan to get this like a few weeks out from our trip so that he could be like getting used to it and everything right louie are you ready to go on your first plane ride hey are you ready to go on your first plane ride if any of you guys are traveling with your pets for the first time i'll be able to 
hopefully answer some questions about our experience and just what we had to do to like prep him for that because there was a lot to kind of like sort out with papers and certain shots he needed and all of that but hopefully it's all gonna be smooth sailing Okay, I'm back from the dollar store. I definitely still have to get used to vlogging in public because I feel so awkward. And also, I'm just so used to people saying like, you can't film in here, you can't take pictures. Like even just taking pictures on Instagram, like when I'm out in public, people sometimes have an issue with it. So I just always feel so awkward, but I'm gonna get over it. You guys mainly see what I got. A lot of stuff for Louis. We get a lot of his like pee pads, from the dollar store. I also got just some travel tubes for our shampoo and conditioner so we don't have to bring like full size stuff. And then uh, poop bags for Lily as well. And this is like a cat dish, but I thought it would be perfect for on the plane just for like, I have to give him a little bit of water because it's very small. So got that. And then this is actually kind of funny. Oops. This is actually kind of funny why I got this. It's like a plush shawl. But I kind of figured instead of bringing like a big blanket, someone did tell me that some flight attendants don't mind if your dog sits in your lap. Especially if you have like a little blanket, you kind of like just have them there. And Louis like loves to sit on my lap. So if they let him do that, it would be the perfect situation. So I got this like shawl thing because if Louis just like sat underneath, maybe they won't notice Louis under there. <laughs> but also just like a blanket if he does sit in my lap. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, it's like weird. But just trying to think of different things to make it all more comfortable. So that's that, right Louis? He's like, what is going on, mom? Don't worry, you're coming with us. He always gets so anxious when he sees like the suitcases out because he knows that we're leaving. But this time you're coming with us, right, Louis? Time to put this all away and on to the next chore, which is cleaning the house. Hello guys, so we actually just got back from our public storage and we got all of our suitcases ready to go for our trip. I actually just got a new suitcase. I will show it to you guys. This is the new suitcase that I picked up. It's a Bayes suitcase. I've been eyeing it for a while. It's so sleek, love the aesthetic of it. It's really cool. Is it has, it has a weight indicator on here. So this is supposed to turn red or something if it's overweight. So we all know I need that with all of my clothes, but it is so smooth, really love it because our other suitcase is pretty broken. Like the wheels like don't really roll actually, but we will have to bring this one because we're going to need two suitcases for this length of a trip and then our carry-on, so. My goal is to probably get the matching carry-on to this too, because I'm just loving the vibe of it. So the plan now is to start packing. We figured if we pack today, we won't be as busy tomorrow. We leave on Wednesday, but it'd be nice to not have to worry about it tomorrow as well. And I mean, today is Valentine's Day. We just, Mitch and I kind of agreed that we weren't gonna put too much pressure on Valentine's Day just with our trip coming up and we are gonna go out probably quite a bit when we're there. But we might order in some food tonight. So, gonna do that. 
But Mitch did get me these cupcakes from this really amazing um, bakery down the road. And I already had one and Mitch had one too. So cute. Okay guys, this is the situation. Louie is my little helper. I know it looks like a mess, but what I like to do is put all of the clothes out on my bed and pile them by like category. So I actually have already filled one whole suitcase and there's still a lot of room in here. So I'm feeling good. And then this is hopefully gonna fit in there. Mitch is trying to figure out how to set a lock for our new suitcase. We are in good shape, guys. Honestly, just hoping that we're both gonna fit everything in these two. What do you think, Louie? Do you have hope in us? Hello, guys. So it is now Tuesday, the day before our trip, and we just got back from getting our COVID test done. So we, whenever you go to the US, you have to get a rapid test. So we usually just go to shoppers and get it done. It's like 40 bucks and you get your results in 15 minutes. So we're both negative. Basically the end of the day, I didn't really get to vlog much today because I was shooting for a campaign that I had to film before we leave. And I couldn't show you guys any of it because it's kind of like a secret until I post about it so other than that that was the day and tonight we're going to be making a stir fry so I could show you guys that and it looks really really good and just finished packing you guys saw last night I managed to get most of our clothes into the two suitcases but we just have like a few other little things to pack up. That is the plan for tonight. Try to get an early sleep. It's really hard to sleep before early flights. I don't know why every single time we go on a trip, we always get an early flight, like always like 8 a.m. So I already know what it's gonna feel like tonight when we sleep. It's a really weird feeling to wake up at like three o'clock, but very excited nonetheless. Half a pound is one of chicken breast. I randomly found these at Loblaws, I think. And they're these frozen pork steamed buns. They're so, so good. So we thought they would be perfect for the stir fry, just as a little side, but we love pork buns. And honestly, these ones live up to some of the places we've been to. They're so good. Okay, so you literally just put them on a plate with some saran wrap over it. And then you'll put them in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Ooh, that looks really good. So the sauce is thickening. Sprinkle those on top. Mitch likes a lot of green onions. Is that enough? Not even. <laughs> that much? A little more. No. Yeah. Probably got a little extra sriracha on my... Sound like it's spicy. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the finished product, and it looks so good. Wish you could come join us. <laughs> Me too. What's up, guys? This is the current situation. Trying to get the last of our packing done. And let me tell you, packing for two weeks and trying to keep everything under the weight limit is kind A nightmare. Of... <laughs> I'm trying my best to not overpack. But I did buy this weight thing for the luggage to make sure that we aren't over. So that's gonna help. And currently we're putting peanut butter in a squeeze bottle for Louis. Yeah, we're gonna put peanut butter in this little squeeze bottle so we can, on the plane, put it in his like Kong thing. So that way he can be preoccupied on the plane because he loves those Kongs filled with peanut butter. But this is the situation with our luggages. Luggage? Luggages? Luggage? Luggage. 
luggage. Yes. And hopefully we're not up too late because we have to get up at like 3.30, so that's what's happening. I think I'm going to call the vlog here. So by the time this vlog is uploaded, we will have been in LA for about five days, so a lot of you will have been following along on our Instagram stories, but I'm hoping to do another vlog of the first week in LA, so that'll be fun. Going to call it now and get finished with all of this packing and try to get a good sleep. So wish us luck and I will see you for the next vlog. Bye guys.